Hi there, welcome back to episode 3. Today we're going to loot the entire city of Edgewater and sell it back to them because capitalism. <laughs> um, first, I just want to say yes, I listened back to the first two episodes. I have a Razor Chroma uh, mechanical keyboard and it's really loud. There's not a lot I can do about that, so we'll just have to deal with it together. But let's get our game loaded and let us go get some stuff. It's one of my favorite parts of these games, is just wandering around, picking up cool stuff. You never know what you're going to find. Alright, so, first, our inventory is a little bit full. Let's head over to the general store Have your rations yet? Yep. and make some room. Hello, general store guy. It's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. And before you ask, I'm all out of deluxe salt tuna. All I've got is gourmet. Oh, I really wanted the deluxe salt tuna. Music to my ears. All right, let's trade. All right, we're going to sell a lot of things. Um, we'll keep that just because it's a unique. Uh, no, sell, sell, please. There we go. That wasn't ours. The one I was going to keep. Yeah, that's for sale. Oh well. Um. Keep the grenade launcher. Alright, do we have extra armor? So those we're gonna break down. Now all this stuff, all this food stuff. You know, I probably should be saving it, but I just don't use it, so starting off the game with some money will be great. We might want that later on in the game, but for now, we'll just sell it. It's okay. All right, anything else? Some junk. All right, there we go, we made some room. Let's check our inventory. This is what I want, a hunting rifle. That we're gonna break down. All right, now you saw I saw sold a lot of weapons there, but Generally, um, try to break down at least as many as you sell because you're going to need the weapon parts. So, you got to find that balance. All right, let's go loot. Let's start exploring around all the buildings. See what we can find. Nothing here. And I'll probably miss things, and if you see them in a the Let's Play and I missed it, well, sorry. It happens. Nothing here. Oh, yep. Yeah. There's a dude. And a book. Ooh. Anna, your mother passed away from plague. She wasn't chosen to receive medical treatment and failed to recover on her own. I found a site near the ocean to bury her. I know it's company policy to have her buried in the graveyard, but I just can't afford the fees. I'm heading out after dark to put her to rest, say my final goodbyes and all. I know it's dangerous to go out alone at night, but I have to chance it. And if you're reading this, I want you to know that your mother was a good person. Don't blame her for what happened. She worked as hard as she could. It just wasn't hard enough in the end. Love, Dad. Ugh, that's terrible. This town, man. Make me angry. Right, well, that was the first building. The this house. This is the sick house. Keep your distance, friend. Sick house is no place for a traveler. But we're going in anyway. There's not really a lot to loot in here. But... When you come in, all the little sprats run outside and the guards have to kill them, which is kind of amusing. Right, I want that. She's going to see me. Not if we close the door. The mag pick. Yeah, I should have checked first before I did that, but that was safe. We're good. Come on, go outside, you little sprat. Keep the guards busy. Hello. Hi. So these are all the people who have the plague come to just rest before they uh, die, apparently. Yeah, there's too many people around. I'm not going to steal that stuff. Yeah, we could talk to her. I appreciate the company and all, but you really ought to leave. You don't want to be seen around me. Because I'm sick. 
You don't want to associate with people in the sick house. We're not worth your time. I'm in about as much trouble as I can be. No reason you ought to be tarnished by association. People are going to talk. Why? What's going on here? Figured it was obvious. I got sick. Couldn't get better on my own. Got moved here for everyone's sake. Maybe you don't know this, but there's a real simple reason you don't talk to the plagued. You don't want what we've got. Got some training. I could take a look at you. Don't. Please. I could get into a lot of trouble. But you obviously need help. That's kind of you to say, I suppose. But I don't need help. What I need is to understand my own folly. Company always tells us weak spirits lead to weak bodies. If I didn't want to fall sick with plague, maybe I should have worked harder. Maybe I should have taken more pride in my work. Mm, that's ridiculous. You can't blame yourself because you fell sick. I really wish you wouldn't say those sorts of things. I told you once already. People could be listening. I'm feeling a touch faint. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone for a spell. I'll leave you be. There. Now we can loot the uh, spread hides and sell them. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, we checked down there. Um, that's the barber shop we did in there. Let's go around this side. Heard something outside the walls today. Nothing for us outside those walls. Now here, there's a couple locked doors. We can't get through while he's here, so I'm hoping at some point we can come in here and he'll be gone. That would be nice. Alright, let's do the cantina. There's some loot in here. I'll put my gun away. Alright, you gotta check your toilets because, look at that. There we go. Now we got that little package that we have to bring over back out to Ludwig. This room has all kinds of loot. See, and that's why you want pickpocketing right off the bat. I mean, lock picking. Because it's great. Alright, we're not going to steal anything in here. Uh, we're going to go this way. Close the door. And see what we can get. Alright, let's go upstairs. Food and drink. So if you're playing on the hardest mode, that's going to be important. Get as much food and drink as you can find. Spacer's chow. That sounds delicious. Not really, but... Ooh. Pistol. Ammo. Lovely decor. This, I believe, is the balcony. Yeah. Alright, not too much out here. Could jump over and... Oh, yep, there's a case right there. Look at that. Nice. Alright, the cantina's looted. Let's go. Now, what I will do first is bring this package out to Ludwig. Because uh, I believe he's going to give us a if weapon mod. Sick, I don't want you near me. So let's do that, and then we'll continue with the loot fest. Oh, we also have to go get our um, companion. Hmm. Wait a minute. We don't get the you thing from Ludwig until we have killed, done the automaton quest, so... Let's go get our companion, then we'll loot, then we'll see Ludwig. That makes sense. So we have to go here into the cannery to meet with, uh, what's his name? Thompson? Reed Thompson. 
the, the town boss, who's quite a piece of work, as you're about to hear. The grease monkey, Argo. I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson, sir. You asked why it's taking so long to fix. The answer's technical. Don't apologize. Just try using small words for me. The cans bust open in the oven because she's set to cook saltuna, which isn't what we've got. Mr. Thompson? I think there's someone here to see you. Focus, Miss Holcomb. You and I are still talking. Let's start over. Walk me through the process. Show me where it's going awry. Well, sure. It's, uh, mostly on account of what we're feeding into the mechanism. It puts food in cans. We have food, we have cans. Why won't it work like we need? She's expecting Seltuna of a certain size. We're filling the cans with... Well, not fish. Not fish. So the Seltuna is not fish. What is it? I don't know if we want to Seems know. Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. A smarmy little git. You must be the town boss. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. It's gonna work for you, you jackwagon. Uh, I think you may have the wrong idea about me. Yes, so it dawns on me. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. My ship needs repairs. I'm looking for a power regulator. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Hmm. Let's hear it. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. Uh, mostly abandoned? What do you mean? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Um, I don't think these people will take kindly to losing their power. No, I do not imagine they will be pleased. But like a parent disciplining an unruly child, you will be doing them a kindness. The hmm. people living in the botanical labs, they're deserters. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Hmm. Why? Hedgewater is struggling. We haven't hit our production quota in years. If we don't meet our quotas this year, the company might shut us down for good. I need those workers back at their stations. Hmm. How can I help? My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Hmm. How will I recognize Adelaide? Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. Well, these workers must have left town for a reason. That reason was me. I asked too much and pushed too hard. But I am ready to make amends if they are willing to return to the fold. We belong to one community. The Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. Alright, Reed. I'll see what I can do to help. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. 
I am trusting you with mine, and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Sure, I could use the company. Great! I got my wrenches, and diagnosticators, and hairpins, and engine tape, so... I'm all set! Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Mm -hmm. right, let's get going. Do not like that guy. Do not like him. But we have our first companion, Parvati, and she's a lot of fun. I like her. So we're on our way. Hey, ma'am, can we talk? Sorry. Couldn't have talked in the elevator. You got a minute? Sorry, I. You just want to get out of here, and you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just. Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters, on account of it's his job and, and what all, but that's not the only side of the tale. Is this about des the deserters? What's the other side of it? To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Can't blame anybody for wanting to leave. This town's got issues. Life's hard here, especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Suppose it couldn't hurt. We'll stop by. Thanks, ma'am. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say anyways. Alright. Okay, so, back to looting. Um, where were we? We were over at the general store and the cantina. So that's about, that's the cantina. General store's around the corner, so let's start here. And look for some stuff. We'll do this middle section first, then we'll go back and do the outer edges. Now these doors you can't go in. So assume these are houses of the people who live here that we can't visit. This looks remarkably like a flight of steps, does it not? Oh, look. Oh, how am I going to get up there? I'm not good at jumping puzzles. I should be able to jump right up here. Nope. Let's try it one more time. Now I'll come back later and do it. Alright, let's not take up the whole video to get one mag pick, but there is a way to jump up there. I am sure. We'll figure it out later. Doesn't seem to be anything. Oh, yep, there's something. Alright, more loot. Alright, we do have to loot the cannery. That's kind of a, a big job, so... Let's go. Now, the cannery is interesting to loot because there are workers and guards walking around. And you cannot let them see you stealing things. So, you have to be a little careful. But here we are, inside the cannery. If I remember correctly, there are lots of cases and... But not over here, of course. This is a big door to the outside. Here's one right here. Now, can anybody see me? That guy can. He's also going the other way, so we're probably safe. But we're going to save it first. Just in case. Also, I should do a quick save instead of a hard save. Yeah, he was far enough away. Um, we don't really. It's not worth stealing Saltuna. That was gross. Aha. That guy. That guy right there is in line of sight, so we're not going to take that right now. We can't pickpocket yet. But we will be able to soon.
Alright, now. I believe we can get up here. Go. Let's go up this conveyor belt. See if there's anything up here. Oh, there's something. Can we make it? Yes. Can anyone see us? Yes. The foreman's right there. Oh, come on. <laughs> go somewhere. Alright, so this might be safe. Do a quick save. Alright. Yep, that worked. Nice. Alright, so we're getting some loot. Looking around. We had to leave a couple things behind because it just weren't safe. Don't want to lose all my reputation that I've just started to get, so. Not over cans of saltuna and other garbage. It's not worth it. However, let's go upstairs. There are some rooms up there. Little offices. There's a the door. Our body's gonna come open the door. What is this? Alright, these are more messages from Tobson about you've been a great worker, so we'll give you medical privileges, blah blah blah. And uh about the guy that shot himself. Oops. Two is exit, not escape. Alright, let's go. I think there's another office around the corner. 